Thank God for you and your household, and welcome to another lesson of This Week in the Bible. My intent in bringing weekly Bible study directly to the people is to provoke thought, explain God's will as it relates to Scripture in a way that some will not have heard before, help to bring the body of Christ into the mature meat of the Word, and shed light on relevance and practical application. I never teach and or provide lessons to condemn, but instead to exhort. Today's lesson is called, In a Good Place. People are trying to use spiritually deep terms and will say and do anything rather than to be saved. As long as you keep doing things to ignore God, things can only get worse. God chooses to bless you and show you favor, and many people these days not only refuse to give God the credit and the glory, but will deny Him publicly and want nothing to do with God. If you are at a time and season in your life that you have good health, shelter, food, peace of mind, financial favor, clean clothes, and any kind of transportation, praise God, you are blessed. Stop being ashamed to give God the praise that He deserves. Did you secretly pray and ask God for help when you were in a bad place? Do you believe that you are now doing better because He heard you? Have you given any thought at all to why things seem to be going your way? Or do you think that it's your own hard work and planning, good luck, or just nature and the universe smiling in your direction? Let's get real. The best good place to be is in the loving care and will of God, giving Him recognition and glory by telling everyone that you meet, if it weren't for God, you don't know where you would be. Thank God for Jesus often and never miss a day without praying to God for direction. In the New Testament, please read Mark chapter 8, verse 38. Have you been reading and studying your Bible? Are you growing and learning what the Word of God is saying to you? God is going to show you personally what He expects of you. And once you understand, you are accountable to God. You will never fool Him. He knows that you understand. And as always, God bless you and keep you. I am Minister Billy Burton, the founder and voice of Inspirational Minutes Ministries International.